Women, what should every woman try at least once? Negotiate a higher salary before you accept the job. I'm 30 and I did this and got the extra pay I asked for. It felt great. Me, I can't accept this job for any less than $100,000, company, we are prepared to offer you $35,000.me, I'll take it. It must feel so good to be you. Edit, it's a loose quote from defending your life but it's not far off from my real life. OMG. I've been wondering about the name of this movie for forever now. I saw it once at a HS friend's house and everyone I've talked to since thinks I'm snorting coconut flavored angel dust or something when I try to describe the movie and ask if they know the name. Isn't that something everyone should do? Not just women? I'll take this advice as well. If you find yourself single after a long relationship as an adult, don't rush into another one. I think every woman should experience being alone and single as an adult, you really learn a lot about yourself, bond with your friends, and can focus on things just for you. My sister is, what I call, chronically unsingle. Since her first boyfriend in preschool she has always had a boyfriend. If she decides she's done with a relationship she finds a new one first. She's had three long-term relationships as an adult and the first one ended with her cheating on her boyfriend with her married ex-boyfriend, who she then quickly cheated on with a guy who became her husband. She told her husband she wanted a divorce and was dating someone new, that night. The someone new has been around a couple years now so I'm just waiting to see what happens next. Her personality, interests, opinions, and attitude are at least 50% dependent on whoever she's dating at the time. You can tell she's moving on when suddenly all of those things change again. She only has one female friend because almost every single best friend she's had since childhood has also been a person whose ex she starts dating after they break up. She has dated the brother, brother-in-law, married man she cheated with, and cousin of her singular female best friend. I tried to suggest being single for a while to make new friends and explore the world a little and she was truly offended by the idea. Are women really unable to go a day without a romantic partner? Us men have mastered this. If you know a yarn slash textile craft like sewing or knitting, find someone else who knows a similar craft and just sit with them while you work together on your separate projects. Eventually, it'll hit you that women have been doing this exact thing for virtually all of history. It's surreal. Pre-COVID my friends would have a knit night every Thursday. We'd go to a burger place and eat too much potato and work on our own projects. The deal was that you had to at least try knitting once and if knitting wasn't your jam you had to bring another hobby. We had a few coloring books and pencils for anyone who didn't bring a thing. It was fun to just work on a project with company and to hang out without everyone constantly being on their phones. That sounds amazing. I wish I had friends that know how to yarn craft. Turns out. One of my friend's moms knows how to knit and crochet and we might wind up being friends too. If this is your first time at Knit Club, you have to knit. A knit night should be really fun. I want to do one too now. Being self-supporting and living on her own, so that if she decides to have a partner it's from love slash want and not need slash dependency. This is so huge. Checking out advice columns, the most serious and dangerous situations usually involve financial dependence. Exactly. Treat career and financial independence as more of a milestone for women than marriage. Women couldn't even open a line of credit or buy a home independent of a husband or father until 1974. If you have the opportunity to, by all means, enjoy your freedom and independence for yourself then partner up because you want to not because you think you need to. Lifting weights. You may surprise yourself. I used to teach a kid's martial arts slash self-defense class and there were two occasional stereotypes. American mom, how dare you make my daughter do push-ups, her arms will get big. And Russian immigrant father, you make girl into assassin, she protects self from boys, you can do, yes? Lamau. I always have to bite my tongue when women approach me for fitness advice, but immediately let me know they don't want to get bulky. GTF out of here with that shit lol. Petting a sea star. When it walks on your hand, it tickles smile. No, no, pet the bat ray. Its wing has such a smooth silky texture. Oh man. So many things to pet, such little time. Even hold a baby horseshoe crab, it feels funny, 
They actually don't use their tails for self-defense, they use them to flip themselves if they fall over, it's so cute. Also got my finger held by a sea anemone. Heck, just pet every single sea animal. As I get older, I realize a lot of women I meet never really do much by themselves. They're fine doing chores or errands alone, but having dinner alone, going on vacation alone, or going to see a movie solo, no way. I genuinely enjoy doing these things by myself because the only person I have to think about concerning where to go or what to see is myself. So, yeah. Take yourself on a solo date slash vacation. I do things alone, and everyone acts like I'm crazy. My husband's nightmare scenario is an arena concert. Why would I drag him along? People act like my choices are force him to go, or not go at all. They forget I can actually go by myself, or get a friend to go too. I traveled alone a few years ago, and it was amazing. Doing exactly what I wanted without worrying about someone else being interested, hungry, sleepy, or needing a bathroom break. I started going to museums alone in college, so I could take my time. Eating alone and doing a crossword puzzle is peace. I'm even a very social person, and I love my solo days. God forbid your husband have a choice of going to the concert or not. I love traveling alone. Traveling alone. This reply brought to you by human trafficking slash s. Living alone. Sadly, women stop existing when alone. A real orgasm. I was gonna say this too. Can't believe how many of my friends confess they've never had one. I remember back in college one of my really good friends was talking about her boyfriend and she told me it took her a year to orgasm with him. I remember just giving her a what the fuck look, and she got super offended. I was like girl, you didn't tell him to do something different? I don't get it because I always tell my partners I usually don't get off from penetration, so can we try this other thing before? She fed me the typical like of I didn't want to hurt his feelings. I mean, but what kind of sex are people having that they aren't communicating do this? That feels good. For sure. I'm there for the end result too haha so I tell my friends, go get a toy and figure yourself out. Then after you know what it feels like to have one, tell your man to explore your body too so you know what else you're into. I asked my wife. She said parasailing. No, Sarah Palin. Honestly it's fun as heck. Was a great way to get a different view on a vacation. I did it in Hawaii and highly recommend. So, not quite sailing? Go parasailing, then see the paramedics, and eventually compete in the Paralympics. Wear that outfit you were always too insecure for. You'll look beautiful. As the lyrics in a Hillary Duff song say, don't dress in yellow when you want to dress in gold. Also, I'm a guy. I'm a guy so this does not really apply to me. But I always thought I would look really good in red chinos and a white button-up shirt and I always figured I'd look like shit in it in reality. After a year of thinking about it someone sold it as a set on the Facebook marketplace in my exact size and I bought it and hot damn do I low up good. Nah that's a unisex experience that's totally valid ha. Huh? I'd say, go to your significant other slash best friend and ask them if they are willing to do a style shuffle. You dress and style your partner to your tastes and let them style you to theirs. It's actually a really fun bonding activity, D. This is a really wholesome idea and I'm going to bring it up to him just for fun and to gauge his interest in it. Only concern is, hey style me however you want now and then I'm just standing there naked. Phone went haywire, made edits. I would prefer naked to some outfit that requires excessive care and is completely uncomfortable. Naked I clearly can't wear out of the house. The other I feel obligated to occasionally wear. I buy my clothes comfortable and machine washable. Pretending to be a man online. Just comment on Reddit and almost 100% of the time people assume you're a man. This guy gets it. I have lady in my username, but still I'm bound to be called man slash bro slash guy slash dude with the intent of identifying me as a man. Cause we all know that guy is unisex until you ask so how many guys have you banged? Bro, how many guys have you banged? Go out to a fancy dinner and movie by yourself. 